Oh, good. I forgot to check if we were still recording. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with me, Alex Fu. And last time, I... Ah, we unlocked some... Uh, some rooms in the basement of... Well, in the basement. <laughs> and we unlocked some rooms in this laboratory. Actually, you know what? Because we've got the MO discs up here, I think I'm going to vi visit the Visual Data Lab first. So let's pick up one of those MO, MO discs, see if it says anything on it. Whoa, whoa. It seems to be a startup disc. Okay. So we have a startup disc. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What if we need multiple MO discs? Alright, I'm gonna check out the visual data room first. Because what probably ends up happening is we need multiple MO discs to, like, start all the computers and then... Turn the camera, thank you. We need, uh... The CD-ROM to run the termination sequence or whatever that is, and why is there blood on that door? Um... Projector? You can't use it here. Sorry, please try again. Unfamiliar physics symbols are written here. Why, that's interesting. There's a panel. Will you open it? There's a switch. Will you push it? No. That looks like an alarm switch. I'm not foolish enough to fall for that. An intercom. It does not seem to be operating. Hmm. Oh, security system. Basement level one, helicopter port. Executives and government officials only on helicopter port. This restriction may not apply in case of an accident. Passage to the helicopter. No one is allowed to enter unless they are attended by a research consultant or security director. All others will be shot on sight. Elevator. The elevator stops during emergencies. Visual data room. Visual data room is within the control of Special Research Division. Keith Arving, the room manager, is designated to have... Jurisdiction over room usage. Pri whoa. Whoa. Wait a minute, what? Sanitation division controls the usage of the prison consultant researchers E. Smith S. Ross. A. Wesker. Albert Wesker. Must be present if, if virus is used. Triple lock door. No one is allowed to enter unless he presents all passcode documents. Passcode documents must be crea created on the specialized output machine by the chief researcher of each block. Power room. Only headquarters supervisors may enter. This restriction may not apply if the consultant researcher has received special instructions. Passcode output machine. No one is allowed to use the passcode output machine but the chief researchers. And top secret. Regarding the progress of the tyrant after the use of T-Virus. Remaining document is unreadable. Basement level four. Wesker? You got some splaining to do. Why are you a consultant researcher? All right, let's press the button. I'm gonna press the button. Oh. Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. You can't carry any more items. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go drop off the ammo disc. Jeez. Hmm. So if Albert Wesker has been working for them all along, that explains why he's been able to just bamf around then. Well, I'm not sure I can 
blame him for it because, I mean, he is doing his part to help secure the mansion. So even if he was involved in creating the T-Virus, he's not, he's not just running off and being a, an idiot about it. He's not just... He, he's taking responsibility for it. I mean, he led the team in. Well, he led Alpha Team in, but still. Oh, I guess he is responsible for the deaths of Bravo Team if he already knew about... If he already knew about the, the virus and everything. Wait a minute, what other names were there? Will you take the lab key? I will. And nothing else. Okay. Wait a minute. No, sorry, not botany book. I want... Oh god, we've got so many... Scrapbook. Oh, okay, that's from the news. We've got so many... Pages now. Alright, so, Keith Arving. Alright, so, E. Smith S. Ross. I'm gonna check this for a second. Oh wait, we were already where we wanted to be. I think, yeah, wait, there we go. Okay, so only Wesker is in on this, as far as I can tell. Unless it's a different Wesker, but I'm not. How many people have you ever run into with the name Wesker? All right, so plan of action is let's run downstairs and get that visual disc. I'm assuming it's a visual disc, which means let's drop off the lab key. Well, we should probably uh, drop off something else as well. Well, let's see how much shotgun ammo we have first. Four shots. All right, I'm not dropping off anything else then. Because we're going to be using the shotgun ammo quickly enough, because... I shouldn't be using the shotgun ammo, I should be using the Beretta ammo, but... I don't want to stay in a room with these guys for more than a few seconds, so... Can you blame me? I won't, even if you will. Alright, so first things first, let's go around here. There we go. Maybe he's dead for good then, if we shot off his head. I can hope, I can dream, but it's probably not going to happen. Well, we'll find out in a second, won't we? Jeez, the f if he is still alive, that he can put just pick up his head, plop it back on, plop it back on, and just get up and walk around again is well, pretty ridiculous first of all, but also just kind of scary, I guess. I like that they're pneumatic doors. It's like we're in Star Trek. Oh, cool! He's dead. He's gone for good. Or at least, that's what it seems like. Maybe he takes a while to respawn? I don't know. Let's look at those slides. Alright, this way. No. This way! Yes, 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 yes. Visual data room, I get it. Let's go in the visual data room. And Albert Wesker's there, looking at us from across the room, being like, You've got some slides that you wanted to look at? I don't think so, boy. Umbrella Inc. Bioweapon Materials of the Future. The Future Today. MA39 Cerberus. With words that I can't read. FI3 Neptune. 
Good thing we've only run into one of those guys. Jeez. MA-121 Hunter. I hate you guys so much. T-002 Tyrant. Um, excuse me? <laughs> Bioweapon Research Institute R&D staff. Well, I don't know. It could be anybody behind those shades, but I'm betting it's Wesker. <laughs> Jeez, he looks like the only kid, that, like guy that's not right out of college. He's the only one that doesn't look like he's just there for a party. <laughs> that must have been fun to do. Well, Wesker, what do you have to say for yourself now, other than... Well, again, I can't really blame you. Because you are taking responsibility for it. I mean, yeah, you're trying to clean it up and hide the traces, probably, but still. There's nothing wrong with that. You goofed. And you know you goofed. That's why you're trying to fix it. I mean, it's not like you're gonna blow the place up or something. Shift eyes back and forth. I forgot you guys can't see me. <laughs> Glance left and right as though, wait a minute. Maybe he will blow it up. Maybe he is a super villain. But then again, I've heard that he's in the next game as well, so... That wouldn't really make sense if he was just super villain. Rawr. No, we're gonna use the shotgun ammo, so we're, we're fine. I can guarantee that we'll use the shotgun ammo. Well, I can almost guarantee. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with Mio Fu. Take it easy.